Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Nerded This Way. I'm Helia, and today I am going to be doing my December wrap. So in the month of December, I read four books. five books um two physical books and three kindle unlimited books so the prompt for december was uh, woman on the cover a book 600 pages or more a middle grade book start a new series a retelling and a new author so I ended up kind of rolling over the 600 page book and the middle grade book, which also ties into um, kind of like new author, but not in the same sense. So the first book I'm going to talk about is the, it goes under the prompt of woman on the cover and is by Yanzi Cho, The Night Tiger. This book was good. So this book follows the Confucius, um, Confucius titles or the virtues. And it follows the, the siblings, the step siblings, and there is a step sibling unrequited love and murder and mystery. And we follow Jin Jai Li, Jai Lin, who is a apprentice dressmaker who originally wanted to become a doctor, but because of the time period, women were not really thought of as doctors. However, her stepbrother, what's his name? I don't know. The stepbrother is a doctor who comes to visit home and he is estranged from the family. And then we follow our third character who is Ren, who is a apprentice to a doctor who dies and he is missing a finger. So Ren must find this finger and get it back to the doctor's body for him to go to the next life. Or he will be trapped on earth and become a tiger and eat people and so Ren and Jylan and Jylan's brother are searching for the finger to get to put it back with his body and so the whole book kind of follows this mystery on why there's a decrepit finger out there in the world and people are dying when they come into contact with Ren or Jylan and pretty much you're kind of trying to figure out all the virtues and like who they are and how they tie into one another. This book has some twists and turns and I wasn't, re I, okay, so I wasn't really sure how I felt about the whole sibling romance thing. I know that threw a lot of people off, but I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. Like I was like, eh, eh meh fine sure there is some trigger warnings for domestic abuse domestic abuse and um it's kind of gory not really but it's very creepy and so i gave this a five out of five like this was really good i recommend it if you like kind of like chinese lore almost and the writing I love her writing if you read the ghost bride then you would like this if you like any kind of kind of uh, supernatural mesh um, magic realism kind of feel then you would like the night tiger the next book I read I'm gonna put the ebook picture up and this is by Kate Lolly law Lee and it is The Adventures of a Vegan Vampire. And this, <laughs> this book got me out of my reading slump because I was just going through my books and DNFing. Like I just could not find a sequel to The Night Tiger. 
and it was really hard and I was really sad but then I ran into a vegan vampire and it follows Mallory who is attacked after going to the bar with her co-workers that kind of hate her and she hates them but she doesn't want to be alone and on her way home she's attacked by a vampire and so she becomes a vampire however the sight smell and taste of blood makes her sick like bodily sick and so she has to kind of figure out a way to eat without consuming blood and then we meet like all this super funny cast of characters like Alex who is now in charge of her well-being and figuring out who is who attacked her and how many other women have been attacked because I the attacker broke the law of creating more vampires or something in the secret community and then we follow Mallory in meeting a vampire named Wembley Wembley and that old man is hilarious like he this book was hilarious like she instead of drinking like blood she's drinking carrot juice and kale and <laughs> and it it really kind of just like will wake you out of a reading slump because it's just ridiculous and it's hilarious and so that would tie into my new author yeah so woman cover check new author check and let's see for retelling I read the I read Poppy Rise a Wolvik holiday I don't have the picture so it's kind of like um, a different story of Krampus and how instead of kidnapping children he's kidnapping like werewolf pups and kind of selling them as pets, even though they're like intelligent life forms. And we meet Kiana, who is the main character, and she is a scientist that has been watching this world and these wolverets kind of live their lives. And her station ends up being attacked and her fiance or boyfriend, I think it was fiance, he ends up leaving her to die. And so she's <laughs> so she crash lands into this planet and then is saved by the male interest who ends up being like of course the alpha male like totally terribly respected and just kind of takes off from there and they are both kidnapped to this kind of nightmare before Christmas Christmas town kind of thing and they find out that this being Krampus is not what people thought and it's very it was good it wasn't very long but it kind of brought a good Christmas vibe I guess like I read it like I think the day before Christmas and it was really cute of course it was like adult so there's steamy scenes and it kind of has like the whole you know shifter trope thing except aliens and the sci-fi aspects of like the ship and life forms and things like that so I gave this a four out of five and I gave the just to make sure the vampire the vegan vampire five out of five just easy if you hear something in the background it's my washing machine it's very loud so that ticks off. Retelling is starting a new series and this book is going to be possibly controversial because a lot of people love this book. And I thought it was okay, it was, it was okay. So I read Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Okay, so this, everybody, everybody knows about Mina Corvere. This, I felt like it was just okay. Like, so for YA, this was really good but if you read dark fantasy all the time this was just like meh it was okay it was good very good it's like a good intro into that type of fantasy 
But if you like the Book of the Ancestors by um, Mark Lawrence or um, Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence or Joe Abercrombie's, um, can I think of what the trilogy is called? Like Before They Hang, you would think this was cute. Like this was nice. It had Victorian age sadness to it. Like this was sad. My favorite character was Mr. Kindly. Mia was kind of meh. It was good. So I gave this, I think, a four out of five. Like it was okay. There was nothing like, like bad about it. It was just, it was a good book. It was a good start of a new series. It brought more questions and I kind of felt like some parts were predictable, but the story and the writing, I kind of understood where people were like, it was overdone and it was a little too flowery. I kind of understood that, but overall, this was really good. Like I may or may not pick up the next book. It was, this was, this is pretty good. Like I would recommend this to people or young adult, young adult around like 16, 15, 16 and above, maybe. But this, like the ending, I was like, oh, that's, that seems, that was kind of predictable, but okay, like. But the, the surprises, I would, so, you know, the whole, like, thing with her family, I, I kind of knew it was coming because the way that it was set up and foreshadowed in the beginning. So, overall, this was a good book. I'm glad I read it. And that kind of takes off my start a new series. And then, of course, I have the rollover, which um, I was supposed to read. <laughs> so I rolled over my middle grade in 600 pages. So I was supposed to read in December, but I read in January instead. The Wizard's Dog by Eric, uh, Eric Gale. I'm just gonna say his first and his last name. And I will have this in my January wrap up because it's only fair because I read it in January. And then of course I, my 600 page book. I was supposed to read this. The Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes. I can't wait to talk about this. Like, oh my gosh. But that is my December wrap up. And <laughs> it's kind of all over the place, but it's kind of organized, I promise. So if you, okay, so I know many people have read Never Night. If you, what was your favorite, who was your favorite character? And did you expect it to go the way it did? Like before, you know, all the hype and the love for it, did you expect it to be, did you expect the ending to kind of turn out how it was like I did? And if you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? I hope all is well. Thank you for sitting through the video. If you could hit subscribe and actually be a subscriber, I would really appreciate that. Click the like and the bell for notifications. I'm still figuring out the schedule, but I'm hoping to do this twice a week. And I will see you guys later.